Thank you, Stephen. Good morning. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, my name is Vaibhav Kamra. I'm at Kasten by Veeam, where we focus on backup, disaster recovery, data management. So I want to take a few minutes today to talk to you about some of the challenges we see new users in uh, cloud native facing and what we as a community and what we uh, specifically as Kasten are doing here to help. So our community continues to grow. We've heard about this over the last few days, and there are many ways to measure this. You know, one way to measure this, for example, is just to track KubeCon attendance. And so if you look at, you know, I've, I've been attending this event ever since Seattle, and if I look at the growth, it's just been amazing, in some cases exponential. But what's often missed when you look at one of these graphs, or at least, you know, you gotta look into it, is that if we're seeing this kind of growth, what that means is a majority of us every year are new to cloud native. And that is leading to some of the challenges. As with anything which scales, you're gonna, lead, you're gonna see some challenges with this kind of growth. So when we talk to folks here at lunch or at the booths or with customers or inside our own companies and we ask them what the challenges are, there are a few things that start to bubble up. The first one is just the complexity. I mean, we've talked about how much choice there is in cloud native, which is a good thing, but that can often lead to complexity. Which distribution am I gonna use? Which storage system, which networking plugin? That leads to complexity. We're often not just adopting these new uh, technologies, we're also going through a cultural change, maybe moving from traditional IT to DevOps. And when someone says infrastructure is code, if we haven't been doing that already, it, it can be challenging. And then just you know, the lack of accessible training over here to, to help guide us through this um, is, is, starts to show up. So the good news is that what you will see here at this event and other, other forums is that we are really all here to help with this. We do realize this challenge, and there are many ways to get involved. Get involved with the SIGs like we were just talking about, uh, doing more open source, open source tooling, just making your expertise available to the community are, are ways to go about this. And I want to talk about two, two initiatives over here. The first one is uh, learning.casting.io. It's a free Kubernetes training that we just uh, released a few days ago. And what learning.casting.io is, it's a learning website where you go and you have labs that are created for the community, actually by the community. So experts in the community are coming in there, they're creating these hands-on labs environments that are completely free to take. As you go through the modules, you're gonna get badges that you can use to track your progress, you can put them on social media. And what we've already seen in just the few days that it's been up there, we've had over 3,500 people go through this, go through the labs, and we're also starting to see some of that community flywheel where people are going through the labs and they now wanna give back to the ecosystem. So this also allows you to come in. If you wanna be an instructor, you wanna do a lab, work with us, work with our team, and we'll just create a lab around whatever module you want. So we're really excited about this. Please do check this out. Thank you. The other one I wanted to quickly talk about is this is something we've been working on for the last few months and we've had a few releases out there, is this goes back to that complexity of choice challenge. And what we found was, and we were working with people and we were helping them navigate the ecosystem, they would ask us what storage system should we use, how do we test it, um, and, and we would often end up working with this. So what we decided to do is take that, that expertise and, and what we were doing and, and codify it into an open source project called Kubester. So Kubester is a collection of tools. Um, it allows you to discover all the storage options that you have out there. What are the different capabilities that are available to you? Um, actually, when you install something in your environment, it'll let you go test it, benchmark it. And then finally, as you're deploying your applications, we're now adding debugging capabilities in here. So you can go and if you wanna debug one of your applications, use the tool, give you a clone, you can go and peek into, inside your application. So do check this out, especially if you're working with storage, you're trying, trying to navigate that ecosystem, uh, I think this is gonna be a great tool and we're always looking for contributors, so um, do check it out. 
So that's, that's really what I, was, I wanted to mention. Um, there's a link there which lists all of those resources. Please, please do check them out. We are also demoing all of these at our booth um, and we'll love to get hands-on with you on these uh, projects. Thank you so much. Have a great, great, great conference.